Well, it's no surprise that cold weather is already here around the Carolinas and with the official start to winter just a few weeks away, snow lovers here in Charlotte might be starting to wonder when to expect the best chances for a snow day this season. And hey, Chris did some digging to make us all a little bit more weather wise. It's been quite some time since places like Clanton Road Community Park have been snow covered. Over the last two snow seasons, we've seen less than an inch of snow combined, but it's not always like that. So let's get snowed in in this week's Weather IQ. There's never been a year dating back to 1878 that Charlotte saw zero inches of snow, but 17 years on record only had a trace of snow. The earliest it's ever snowed in Charlotte was Halloween back in 1887 and again in 2014. The latest was April 28, 1928. A snow season is defined from the first to last time it snows, which 98% of the yearly snow falls from December through March here in the Western Carolinas. Breaking down the total snow shared per month, January and February pack over 60% of the yearly snow. But the snowiest month actually occurred in March. In 1960, 19.3 inches of snow fell. That totals over the seat of this bench if it didn't melt. The snowiest day is also in March. It has snowed on March 2nd more than any other day, snowing 16 times in Charlotte history. But how much snow typically falls in a given season? Well, through the years, this number has declined substantially. Over the past 143 years, the average is 5.5 inches per season. Over the last 30 years, the average is 3.5 inches. And over the last decade, the average is only 2.6 inches. The 1959-1960 snow season saw the most ever, totaling 22.6 inches of snow. So stay safe as we swing into the 2021-2022 snow season. With WCNC Charlotte, I'm meteorologist Chris Mulcahy.